I'd like to welcome you out. I'm Ron Herget. I'm the interim AGM for Water and Wastewater Systems, and uh, this is my backyard. Wonderful occasion. Fantastic event. Um, Ron said this conceptualized in 97. The manager told me, I think, that on a, one of our stormwater plans in 1995, something around sort of like this was sort of etched out. And I'm just trying to think, in 1995, I was skipping a class at UF to go to the Copper Monkey right about this time. <laughs> so this is a long project, very long project, many, many authors. Uh, I'd be remiss, I appreciate Ron recognizing my colleagues, but I just also want to uh, thank my, the colleagues I serve with, and of course my time as a city commissioner, former mayors here, um, because this is one of those uh, great projects that has had unanimous political support from day one. And, and think about what that means in this time of sort of rancorous partisan politics and stuff. I, the manager also mentioned me, uh, then Senator Steve Ulrich secured a half million dollar grant for this. I mean, this is a project that has tran transcended political boundaries. And I'm very proud to lead a very politically diverse commission. And so I think it's just a wonderful testimony to what we do when we see a project that, that's of such importance, how we all come together just to get it done. And of course, the other great political benefit is we get to take credit for all the hard work Ron and all the other folks get to do. So, uh, but anyway, this is a wonderful thing. You know, the first responsibility was to meet a regulatory burden. We had an obligation to do a better job of protecting our environment from the nitrogen runoff. And so we did that. But you know, we could have done it any many different ways. We I was just, you know, saying earlier we could have built a big steel container and gathered the effluent and treated it and just been done with it. But that's not how we do things in Gainesville. You know, if you think about it, we go we're we are we are a community that is not content with being very good. We have to be great. That's how we dream. We dream big here. And this project typifies that. There, there, there are many more modest ways we could have tackled this problem. But in the Gainesville spirit, we took it up to a higher level. Said so not only are we going to meet our regulatory burden, not only are we going to treat the nitrogen runoff uh, from our stormwater and our wastewater facilities, uh, but we're going to enhance the quality of life for everyone. We're going to create a wonderful park that people can come and enjoy, see nature as its finest. And, and am I still being photobombed by the horse, by the way? So, okay. Then I'll conclude rather quickly. So, because um, this is about, about the nature. What y'all can't see are the gators that are right up down here. So, yeah, so take that one over here too, right? So, so what are we ending up with? One, well, we're protecting our Florida aquifer, Okay. So that's, that's, you know, the most consequential thing we're doing. Uh, we're rehydrating 1,300 acres of natural wetlands uh, on Payne's Prairie that were previously drained. And we have now created an incredible park amenity, more than three and a half acres of trails and boardwalks. I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize uh, how the city worked together on this. Uh, both GRU and city general government, our public works, and also now our Parks and Recreation all collaborated. This is a $26 million project. $22 million uh, came from your city governments. Um, and then, of course, our partnerships with um, FDEP, St. John's River Water Management District, the Division of Recreation and Parks, the Florida Department of Transportation, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, and, of course, Alachua County. Many, many partners have collaborated to make sure this project works. It has been a long time in the making. Again, want to recognize our own Recreation, Parks, and Cultural Affairs Department for really turning this into a quality of life amenity that people can be a part of. Another remark I made earlier is, is think about, again, what it means in Gainesville. We are just across the street from the urban environment, just across the street. You don't have to drive very far. Within minutes, you're right here. That is fantastic. It's just a wonderful thing. So I'll just conclude um, by saying again, thank you all for being here. Uh, thank you all for, for those of you who helped make this happen. You helped make this vision possible. Well, let's keep it up, Gainesville, and never leave bacon on the plate. Thank you. We're here to try and, and not only just 
restore the and improve the water quality, but this is also restoring the wetland um, here and Payne's Prairie itself. And that's important, um, and that's really important from the department's standpoint. And one of the things that we focus on is really what are we doing for the environment as a whole? We're not trying to just look in silos and look at one specific aspect, uh, water quality, or one area of trying to rehydrate some areas. We're really looking for projects that are going to benefit the environment from a lot, of, a lot of different areas. So all the partners who've worked on this, we really salute you for that, um, to not taking the, uh, the not-so-easy way out, but the, you know, just doing what you have to do to meet some sort of obligation, really taking the long view and saying, what is not only good for the environment, what's good for our residents here, what's good for Florida? Back in the 1700s, there was a famous naturalist, uh, William Bartram. Many of you probably know him, uh, or know of him, don't know him. Um, but he came, up, he came up upon this uh, vast um, Alachua savanna, great Alachua savanna, and wrote about it in detail and drew pictures back then of all the wildlife uh, that was out here. And, and it's truly amazing that it's still here today. And uh, I kind of feel like he's, he's here with us. And if he was, I'm sure he'd be proud of all of the partners that were involved to, uh, to make this, this project a reality. So um, thanks for letting us say a few words. Thanks for letting, letting us be a partner. And we're a proud partner and uh, appreciate it. Thank you. I really want to thank the city and their leadership and really their pers perseverance because I can, I don't know, I mean, I know there's some city staff here and if they really counted up how many hours they spent in meetings and long meetings kind of grinding this thing out, um, it's, it's really gratifying to see that they got to the end of it and, and we've got what we've got today. So um, again, Alachua County appreciates being a small part of this in terms of partnership and um, we hope this project is going to inspire a lot of good work around the state. So thank you. One, two, three.